Now we're up to my favorite part of the body sex group. I know. Group they, orgasm. I love the group orgasm. They call it a circle jerk, but it's so much more. It's than so that. much more. Yeah, I know. And I, I have know. to admit, when I was doing I the group, I had no idea what to expect. And I thought, I'm orgasmic. I masturbate all the time. I have my sex toys, my partners. What? But it was different. Ah, yes it is. And it was very healing. Yes it is, indeed. Why? Oh, there's a thousand million hundred... Oh, I went backwards. <laughs> there's a hundred thousand million reasons. <laughs> It's a, um, it's a ritual that is very ancient. That's how it felt. It felt like going back to DNA. And it connects with, with uh, the prehistory, prehistory of, of women when we had rituals in the temple that worshipped the goddess of sexual love and abundance. You know, there was a period in history, although it was never recorded. Well, we ran the show. Well, and sex was revered. It was the spiritual practice. It was sacred, yes. It Hello. was where you went to church to have sex. Yes. <laughs> the women would get together. And we would have some rituals and oiling and, you know, singing and chanting. And uh, one of the highest rituals was the group orgasm. The, and doing yourself, not somebody doing you. There's no performance. I mean, maybe that's it. Like, when you're masturbating, it's just you. So you don't have the energy of anyone else in the room. It's the real deal. And then if you're with, in a sex act with a partner, you're performing. Well, you're, you're very aware of, of other. So energy is being pulled out of you. This, yeah, the energy was being passed around the women in the circle. And it was all contained. It yes. All contained. And it was all female. Yes. So yep. it was different. I actually miss it. I would say that running the 25 years I ran the workshops, although I wasn't partnered with anyone at the time, I was partnered with the group. And that was your primary relationship. It was my primary relationship, and I, I really don't talk about it that much. But it was also my best orgasm, so think it through. I had 13 women coming to spend the weekend with me, paying me. That's pretty they, good. They'd come in, and they'd take their clothes off and give me the money or a check. Then they'd sit in the circle, and they'd tell me about their sex lives, how they felt about their body and their orgasm. Which then, is really talking to someone. It's not a clever cocktail party conversation. No, no, you're laying it out there. You're just right then, there. Then they would show me their pussies, and then we would all masturbate together. It's beautiful. How's that for making a living? You think I'm not smart? <laughs> One of the things I loved in our group when we did it is that woman, the orchid. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Beautiful vulva. It was an orchid, totally. It was spectacular. Yeah, I agree. It really was. And she would start to have an orgasm, and then it would go totally around the circle. But she wasn't next to you. Was no, she? she was across from me, but she would have an orgasm, and the woman next to it, and it would travel around the circle. I'm aware of that. Because she was very vocal, and she was just having these great orgasms, and she was expressing the sound, and then all the other women joined in. Yeah, and, and even if exciting. you're not... It was exciting. Yes, yes. It because was. you were interacting with each other, but it wasn't about giving anyone else pleasure. It was about your own pleasure. Which triggers the next person's pleasure. It gives everyone permission to focus on self, not other. The important thing of this whole process is it's about self, not other. And this is what masturbation allows us to do. Whether it's alone or with a partner yeah. or in a group, we get to focus on ourselves. And women almost never get to do that. Never. No, and it's a horrible part of your life that you lose. <gasps> it's like you have to do that. You yes. need to yes, it's recharge. Wonderful. So we're going to do it again. I know, and so far we've raised about $7,000 on Kickstarter. And it looks like we have two corporate sponsors coming in, fingers crossed. Oh, yes. And I okay. think we hit our goal. We still need a few more thousand to fill in. So, but we're almost there. Stay with us.